Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video. I'm Haley, and today we're going to be reacting to The Haunting of Hill House, Episode 7, Eulogy. Um, this show has been absolutely insane so far. Um, last episode, we had everybody show up for Nell's funeral. Like, the entire episode took place, um, almost the entire episode took place in one room, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, we have a kind of a weird split in the family where I guess um, Stephen and Shirley don't really believe in anything supernatural going on, whereas the dad for sure does. Luke is starting to think so, and um, who's the other one? Theo. Theo. Um, you know, she has her sensitivity, so she knows something is going on. Um, so there's kind of this interesting split that I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, last episode, we also found out that Shirley's husband took the money from Steve from his book. And then at the end of the episode, Shirley walked in on him and Theo, like looking like they're about to kiss. So you know that this episode's definitely gonna bring the family drama. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, with that, uh, the full-length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon as well as the next reaction, episode 8, which will be up for early access, so head on over to our Patreon. Uh, we would really appreciate your support. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you are new, welcome. I hope you stick around. And with that, let's just get into The Haunting of Hill House, episode 7. I guess we've like totally gotten rid of the cold opens. The past few episodes haven't had them, so. Here we go. I'm really excited. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've seen a police station. It's no problem. Clothes okay? Sorry, that's all we had on hand. This seems like and this must be blood, like you know, if there's blood on it, we have to take them. Right after. Or like right when the police showed up when he was talking to Nell at the motel. Let's go over a few things. I feel these conversations are not gonna go statement. well. And I wanna make sure that when you do walk out of here, whenever you walk out of here, that you walk without a whiff of suspicion on you, you understand? I feel like another guy's about to walk in and they're gonna do like a good cop, bad cop thing. Cause we just need to go over it a few times. In particular, I'd like to talk about what you said about the house. What about oh, it? You mentioned a few things to the officers. He said that it was haunted, right? And that was like huge deal. <sighs> what are the names? Nice couple. Uh, the Dudleys, I believe. Ooh. And your wife, she's with the medical examiner right now and it's a mess. And we haven't talked about the other body. That didn't have anything to do with us. Of course not. The other body. Wait, 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 wait. What other body? Huh? You're good at fixing things. I keep hearing this about you. Is that right? What's happening? <gasps> oh my gosh. I like already have chills. Ah! This mess begins to spread until it becomes bigger than both of us. This man's spitting facts right now. It really, it really did. It became a whole mess. Talk about the house. Talk about Olivia. Talk about what happened last night. I will run and get you your cream of sugar. No, I don't need it. Uh, I, we can talk now and get this over with. Sit tight. This guy seems like he's like, he's very nice, but there's also, I feel like there's like a vague threat underneath everything. Like if you leave, it's gonna be a big mess and you don't want that, right? You know, kind of a. I'm up, you know, I'm into a rental. Okay. Not a lot of choices. He's also been talking to like nobody. About this. Yeah. Is it like the ghost of the mom, um, you think? Yeah. Or I guess you all would know, but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right. <laughs> it's better. I feel like the way that he's talking, it seems like the way that he, like he would talk to his wife. You promised me calla lilies. You're bringing me calla lilies. You're really a grandfather? That's right. How come we've never met I you? Don't, I don't oh care. boy. Kids with no filter. You've done business I with actually, me. Actually, I you knew this met Jaden a while back. Kevin's oh. on his way. We'll take the four. That's fine. 
There just better be four bouquets of calla lilies for him when he lands, or you can forget about doing business with him. Can we please talk? Everett screwed us. Gave half our lilies away. You need to pick up four bouquets. Oh, I guess we're not having a confrontation. Any of my, okay. <laughs> I, um, I know you're upset with him because he took Steve's money, but he was only looking out for you and... It's more than that, though. It's 8.30. We're not open yet. I wonder where she gets that from. I knew it. I needed my space, but not like Cheryl. Since she was three years old, Shirley needed... Shirley's space. So is she real, is the question. I mean, it feels like it only hit this house. Dad, this wall feels squishy. Ooh, why is it doing that? Is there like a secret door? Ooh. <laughs> No way, all this came from a storm. No, no way. Busted pipe, most likely. It, it was just a bunch of water damage? I mean, we, we took care of all. What's that smell? That is a smell of ruin. <laughs> Mold. <laughs> oh, it's so dramatic. It's just last night. It can't be all the way down here. It can't be down here. It means we got water pooling all the way down here, three floors down. That's really bad. Really bad. Ah. Mother <laughs> Yeah, water damage will destroy a house. No, 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 no. Huh? Do you hear that? There's stuff in the walls now. Are you kidding? This house has it all. Ghosts in the walls and out of the walls. Maybe rats. Could be what happened to the that's pipes. That's a reasonable explanation. Rats get thirsty enough, they'll shoot through just about anything. Huh? What's that? Why does it look like the outline of a person? This could ruin us. Shirley doesn't want people in the house just yet, so I thought maybe I'd say hi. Yeah, I bet Shirley's in a mood. Girl, did you did you or did you not try to kiss her husband? What do you mean she's in mood? <laughs> I remember when Luke lived here. I was really hoping that it would work. Oh, interesting. But if anybody could, you know. Before he probably went to the rehab center. He's uh, he's looking a lot better now, right? Doesn't he? I guess so. You on the other hand. Oh, thanks, Dad. Well, no, it's just you look a little. Uh... You look stressed, girl. I'm just, you know, I've woken up plenty of mornings looking like that myself. I'm just. I fucked up last night, Daddy, even by Crane standards. And if I make it through today alive, I'm gonna have to pack this all up and find a new place to live. And I don't think Shirley is ever gonna talk to me again. That's, yeah, you did a really bad thing. I'm sorry. I should have made more of an effort with you. I should have met you halfway. I was not expecting this apology. People fuck up. I guess you don't get that. You don't mm. really get it. And this doesn't have to do with Steve's money, does it? No. I have to shower. Girl, no. Um, I need to hear the details. We, like, saw it for two seconds. I feel like we need, like, we need the explanation of, like, what exactly went down, you know? I didn't expect that. Me neither. I start somewhere. The parlor, library, and then, then the pooling in the basement, there are what? veins of it, veins of mold that are spreading from somewhere on the third floor. Some of them are just scribbles, and the work records are a mess. Honestly, well, I can't flip this house if it's just rotting with mold. Cut your losses and leave. Like, everyone's being traumatized in this house. I know, I know. There's a will, bunch um, of black mold. You can't fix I'll it. Just get out. Drop something that represents the actual piping, and then we'll find out how fucked we really are. I've checked everywhere but one room. Well, that's probably your culprit. We were wondering, did rats get through a pipe? Have to be a lot of rats. Several pipes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll help. It's a tough gig for a kid. Oh, he's not a kid. Oh. Oh my gosh, Lee came. To the funeral. Well, I guess that makes sense. Like, someone died. It's. Oh. <laughs> she ripped her hand from Steve. Don't say that. You wish you'd had better role models. 
better marriage to emulate? We were solid, babe. Yeah, listen. Those last few days don't count. She died. It's not... That wasn't us. I didn't get a chance last night to tell you how proud I am of you. 90 days. Thanks. Mm. It's good. Wow, this family is so sad. It's okay to just sit. Just be with him. You don't have to talk. How does she just, like, know everything? People here. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Like, a if she's real and you become her. a ghost in this universe, you just know people's thoughts? That's pretty cool. Can't lie. <laughs> Theo? Oh gosh. Oh, that's so awkward. What? Huh? With a hangover. Makes beer and tomato juice and power it down. Drink beer for a hangover? That does not sound correct. <laughs> so you're saying the best hangover remedy is heroin? By a mile. Oh, fuck my day. <laughs> okay, well, it was a little. Presumptive. Pres how do you say presumptuous of her to show up at her sister's funeral when they literally barely know each other? I like they're just watching everybody come in. What happened to you? Oh, I fell. Oh, you knew she'd be here. Is it Aunt Janet? I was like, who is this? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I think it's Aunt Janet. None of none of us should be here. I know what you mean. Well, honestly, there's nothing like a funeral to like bring a family together. As terrible as that sounds, but you know, I feel like it really puts into perspective like a lot of the drama and stuff. That mold guy telling me there's no rats down here. What a pro, huh? <laughs> Listen, my guy, I don't think you have rats though. Master Blueprints? Master Blueprints. Was that right? See, Steve, your dad thinks that. All this water is coming from that red room upstairs. Put the mask back on, dude. Like, if it's actually dangerous to breathe in that mold, put the mask on. And then we ventilate it. Ventilate it? What? Be safe down here, okay? Good job, honey. Why? What's up with the blueprints? What, what is it? Oh, they keep doing this. They keep cutting and leaving us un in suspense. She's not dead. She's just away. Devastating. Truly. <laughs> if anyone wants to say a few words. Oh, Luke. That was his twin. Oh, no. <laughs> I was born 90 seconds before you. Know. I had to use that to, you know, forget a fight or, um. Oh. If I if I wanted something, I'd say I I was the oldest, so and she 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 let me get away with it. <laughs> I mean, even though she knew it was bullshit. The, the last time I saw her, she um she was driving me to rehab. Oh. Uh, so she 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 dropped me off. Um, she looked at me and she said, "Oh my gosh, this is really sad." Go in there, and you bring my brother back. My brother back. He's back, but she I was born ninety there. seconds before no. But she was always my big sister. Oh That's so sad. I really, really like um Luke and Nelson. You could take another look for a key to that red room upstairs, I could really it's use so... it. It's really special, and I know it's their twin thing, but it just, it really is. Be in there losing this much water, but I gotta look. The missus do these? Yeah, I'm sure it's... No, what? I'm not. I gotta ask her. What's up with them? You know, um, probably ain't my place. Uh-oh. But maybe she could use a little time away from the house. Time away from the house? Yeah. It's probably not your place. <laughs> You know, my my mother worked in this house. Oh wait. She was this is um staff. Mr. Dudley. Okay, never mind. He actually does know her. I don't know who I thought that was. <laughs> when I was young, they moved us out to the cottage at the edge of the property. But my mom, she she never liked her house. 
She'd come home uh, sometimes after a long shift or a night shift. Scattered, you might say. Scattered. Hmm. Talk to herself and the like. Does it like go after her? Towards the end, she'd wander the into women? the woods at night barefoot. And I swear I could hear her out there giggling like a schoolgirl in love. What does this house do to people? What the heck is going on? Um. I see. Listen, maybe everybody's so mom died. time away from the house. Everybody. I met Clara when she got hired on working for Ms. Hill. Clara, she spent a lot of time in here. Especially when Hazel got sick. Oh, Clara got pregnant. Like, yeah, At like, first, a real, real all of the women in this house, like, start to go crazy. But, like, is it only, it only picks one? Miss Hill made it keep on working, even with the baby coming. And so she did it. She didn't take any time. Girl. So the day comes, the doc comes, and uh, my little girl's stillborn. She never even got to have. I was not expecting this uh, backstory. She went back to work fast. I mean, she's never been one to dwell, but I mean, Claire is a brave woman. And these nightmares, they had her down in a corner, shaking so bad I thought she'd seize up dead. This is crazy. This is, this is wild. Like Cleaning the master bedroom up there. This is before Hazel passed. She's cleaning Hazel's room. And, uh, she hears a, a, a baby crying. Here's another room, too. And she oh, goes, lo no. looking. That's so I mean, sad. I thought she was losing her damn mind. But sure as St. Thomas, my doubts, they just dropped away. And I, I knew that was my first little girl's cry. That first cry, the one she never this got is, to. This is so sad. So. So it just... We stopped coming here after dark. Oh, that's why. Never spend a minute inside after dark. No more nightmares. No more crying. No one acting scattered. You know, that's good at, like, he's giving advice based on experience. Maybe she needs to get out of the house. It's not my place. But if you find your missus is acting scattered... Okay, what is going on? A little time away. Would do the trick. Well, prayer is not really our thing, but... You can still take time away. I take your point. Each their own, I suppose. I wonder why it randomly targets these women. Also, what's wrong with the blueprints? They never told us. What is going on with them? Please, let us know. Ride with us. I'll meet you there. Cheryl. I feel like having all this family drama on top of everything that's going on, I cannot imagine how stressed these people feel. You coming with us? Even today? Not everything's about you, Steve. <laughs> oh man, guys, can we all just be nice? I understand why Sh Shirley's really upset with Theo and her husband. She's valid, but... Need a ride? Who knew Luke had it in him? Yeah. You know, I was, I was talking to you no. this morning. Uh-oh. And... Yeah, it gets even worse to bring up her. About Nellie and what your brother said. Don't. Your problems, we, we all do, but uh, there's one thing... Don't. <laughs> in the end, all you guys have is each other. Did Theo tell you what she did? Uh, no. Listen to her, don't! Too late. Stay the Too fuck out of my business. There it is. This one's totally screwed. I'm gonna have to open it up. Uh-oh, don't stick your hand in the fan. Steve, can you unplug it over there? And hand me that hex wrench. It should be in that box. What is that? <gasps> Fuck! Dad? Oh my gosh, ouch! I told you to unplug the- I, I, I didn't! I unplugged oh. it! I it's okay, it's okay. Hey, it was an accident. Fuck. Um, you need to go to a hospital, get some stitches, my guy. Okay. Oh my gosh, the, did the ghost plug it back in? That's insane. And play, I think I got this covered My now. guy. I want to help. 
Did you go get stitches or what? Like, <laughs> that was, a, looks like a very deep cut. You need to like. Gonna break the crowbar? Why don't you like get an axe and take it through the door or something? Fuck you! She did raise her. She Go. did. Hey, I. I don't think you can tell somebody else how to grieve. That was so sorry. <gasps> Don't! Do what? Oh my gosh. Did you did you did you did you, did you, did you see her? No. I saw her. No, you didn't look at me. You didn't because they're dead. Steve, enough. I'm sick of you. Like, things, Luke. literally. I know all about it. I write about it. I'm sick of this man telling everybody that they're not seeing stuff. If you don't get that, if you don't get your shit together, like Mom and Nell didn't get their shit together, you're gonna end up just like them, you understand? So you've gotta be vigilant. Get it together. And stop talking like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> I f Are you too, you understand? Okay? Which version of the ghost is real? Liv? <gasps> Liv? Liv! You? You? What the fuck? I am a... I mean, oh my gosh, whoa, wait, that's so scary. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't even know. What's going on with you? You're holding a fucking screwdriver to my throat. No, I wasn't. Girl, we need to that's talk. straight up gaslighting. <laughs> I don't know what we have to do, but we have to do something. You're... I, I don't... What, what is this? It's a master blueprint intro. It looked familiar. What is happening? You use the same shape dozens of times. It's a footprint to our house, to our forever house. You just, you drew it again and again. What? Why? I didn't. You did. I did. The house is like really, really affecting her. What is going on? Maybe you should take a break. You'd have to juggle the kids and the house and... I'll manage. Girl, if you gotta get out, get out. I just want you to be... Not crazy. I didn't say that. You're just tired. It just snuck up on me all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. I'll sort it out. Finish your drink. Say your goodbyes. Probably won't have to see them again for years if you don't want to. That's so sad. Shouldn't you want to see your kids? You do want to, don't you? Like... Truthfully, I don't feel like any of this, like, the drama between the, like, the dad and the kids is not the kid's fault. He didn't tell them anything. They had to be raised by somebody else, and, like, none of that was on them. I hold up. I overheard you and Steve talking earlier at the grave. You know, I mean, you know, I see your mother every day. I do. I have since she died. Well, um, that's <laughs> nuts. Yeah, it's, uh, for me, it's a coping mechanism. And you'd be surprised a lot of uh, widowers. Uh, okay, but like... Widows, uh, they do that. They read. The, um, what's her name? Olivia? The Olivia that the dad sees and the Olivia that Luke just saw are not the same. They're perfectly normal. Oh, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's always the case. Okay? But you don't have to feel crazy because sometimes... Big boys know the difference between what's real and imaginary. Isn't that right, Dad? My guy, you gaslit your children too much when they were kids. Hey, keep it up. Okay, just keep it up. I feel like we really... You're here, Dad. Like, we need to sit down and really unpack everything, because this is... Everything is so tense. Hey, look at... A random purse? 
What is he about to see? I have a feeling there's gonna be like a jump scare and I don't want it. <laughs> The fact that he's down here alone really scares me, you know? In the basement? Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh no! Dude! Good lord. There's a dead body! Children upstairs. Make sure they don't see this. Oh my gosh. They have an iron and a cane. Crane, I think you just saw one of our oldest cold cases. He's trying to scratch his way out. Well, good news is Massachusetts doesn't require that you disclose you've had any death on the premises to any potential buyers. I feel like you should. Have a good night now. Psst. He's like, we just took a body out of your wall. Have a good night. Like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> You know, I gotta ask. You know, folks around town talk. They've always talked about this place. Is it? Haunted? What? The answer is yes. You know, yeah. <laughs> At least a few of my kids sure think so. If the children think so, don't you know that means it is. <laughs> um, so I'm flying out early in the morning, so I probably won't see you. I'll, I'll be around at the... Hotel later if you want to get a drink or well, I'm an early flight too. Oh This is so sad. They like don't know each other at all. Steve uh... What I like can't imagine Not being able to and it's the regret of my life I'm so so sorry That I couldn't fix it dude say it You fly safe bruh Me too. Mm. <sighs> Finally credit card and the caterer's got to be paid my car is gone what do you mean i mean my car is gone where the hell is it did, did, did kevin take my goddamn wallet you saw him but you didn't want to believe it did luke take it uh, i'm sure it's around kevin's by the kitchen guys do you want my card I, I can pay for the catering that's not the just say it you need to just say it he looked wrong has anybody seen luke he wanted to have a smoke he went outside uh, about an hour ago well, did he come back? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Can't even last one day? An hour. Probably already has a needle in it. No, Luke. I'll check outside. What is that? What the heck? Guys. Oh, God. <gasps> the house. We'll kill someone. Oh, it's, it's okay. I can What? Oh my god, is that Nell? Oh my gosh! Dude. What? Wait, that is not Nell. Wait, 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 what the heck? Who- wait, <laughs> This. I can I can fix it. I, I can fix it. Yeah. You're not fixing this. I'm giving you every opportunity oh and you God. Oh my gosh. Me, you, I am helping you. You keep saying that you didn't hurt her, but you get real upset if I say she killed herself. So you're either in denial of your wife committing suicide or you're in denial of something worse. I didn't touch her. And I don't know why you won't give me these three hours. The three hours you waited after you discovered her body, before you called us, what happened in those three hours, Hugh? You didn't call us for three hours because you were grieving. You know, That's this right. man doesn't really seem like too much of a man of action. You say your wife went out of town. I thought she did. Mm-hmm. To be with her sister. Anything you want to add to that? Not really. I thought she went out of town. She hadn't. That's all. That's right. And she says that you ran up the stairs to the, uh, the red room. Oh. The door's been locked since we moved in, so it was nothing. I don't think that is true. Oh, it's open. Of course, it's going to end on a cliffhanger, as usual. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. This episode. 
We got a lot of things happening. We got some new ghosts. Um, we got the guy who, I guess, William Hill is what they called him. The guy who bricked himself up behind a wall and died back there. You know, who knows if that's what actually happened. Um, we got the ghost who knocked over Shirley's. That was crazy. At first I thought it was Nell because there was like wheezing and gasping. Like, but I didn't look like Nell. There was like a big old gash on her forehead. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. To me, it didn't look like Nell. Um, also, like, what's up with the mom, like, drawing the house, like, their forever home house footprint all over the blueprints? Like, I, I feel like they keep dropping us more and more hints, but everything's just, like, not quite connecting yet, and I'm sure that's on purpose, but what is going on? <laughs> this is crazy. Um... The, I like that this episode gave us a lot of focus on the dad. I I like that we got to see, um, like, who he's talking to. I mean, we all, I'm, you know, I assumed it was the mom, but, you know, now, especially that conversation he had with Luke about the coping mechanism, I am thinking less and less that she's real, um, and that maybe the ghost that Luke saw of the mom is actually the real thing. Because she looks like Nell does. Like all kinds of messed up and like she's dead. So I'm thinking, yeah, so I'm thinking that that's probably her. Um, We did not at all resolve the drama with Theo and Shirley and her husband. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I think it's really interesting that the dad has a lot of trouble like voicing what he really wants to say. Um, his emotional maturity, I think, is a little lacking for somebody who, you know, has lived a lot of life. I feel like emotional maturity definitely comes with age and He's definitely lacking a lot. Um, you know, it's, I feel like as the dad, it should be up to him to be the bigger person and kind of like take a step to bridge those gaps that are gigantic in the relationship with all of his children. And he just is like not willing to take those steps. Like he couldn't even tell Steve like what he was really feeling like, hey, I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm sorry I couldn't fix this. You know, like, I feel like I feel like it's something that if you really want relationships with your children, he's going to have to do that and it surprised me that he couldn't. Um Luke, 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 Luke. He stole Shirley's wallet and Theo's car. Like no, Luke, we were all rooting for you, please. I mean, I guess we don't really know what he's doing. So I guess there's still some hope, and I I really sincerely hope, because he really was doing well before all of this. I know that your twin sister dying is incredibly, incredibly stressful. Like, I can't even imagine that, but it's... I really hope he didn't fall off the wagon. I really hope he didn't, because he was doing relatively well. Oh, boy. The family drama. It's really chef's kiss, you know? really spicy, really insane. I I want so badly for this family to like make up, but I feel like there's so much to unpack that if we don't just like get to the root of the problem, it's never going to happen because everyone keeps dancing around all of the issues that are happening. Shirley was like, to be fair, I guess Shirley was like, I can't deal with the drama today. I remember her sister's funeral. Fair. Um, but you know, the dad, you know, he said that, like, or Olivia said that, like, you know, he hasn't seen his kids in years. This is, like, his one chance for who knows how long to try and repair some kind of relationship with them, and he's totally letting it just bypass him. Um, and Steve, you know, Steve's not my favorite, 
I'll be honest, I feel like he's a little bit of a jerk. Um, I'm glad he admitted to Luke that he has been seeing stuff too because that's been really annoying me about him is like, I feel like he's saying like, you're all crazy for seeing stuff. But I was like, bro, you're seeing stuff too. So I'm glad he admitted it. Um, but I don't know, man. I feel like when you're all seeing the same thing, that's like just too much of a coincidence. You know, like Steve, you saw Nell in your apartment the day that she died. And like, you know, Luke saw his mom and Nell as a bent neck lady. Like I, and then Theo and her dad just saw something. So I just feel like there's, we're going to get to a point in the future that like, we can't keep denying it. We have to say like something is going on, you know? Um, so I'm excited to see that because Steve is kind of annoying me, to be honest, you know? Like he said, he makes a living off of like exploiting people's trauma. So he's not my favorite. Um, but yeah, even still, I still hope he makes up with everybody. I just want them all to get along. I hope that the thing with Theo is, you know, she said she messed up. So uh, I don't know if we can explain it away, but I don't know. I just hope that the relationship in the end can be repaired as much as possible. Obviously, Shirley would be totally justified in not wanting to speak to Theo again because that's pretty, you know, that was a pretty insane move to pull. Um, but I hope everybody else can make up, you know? I just want them to be happy. And no one's been happy like the whole show. <laughs> so, you know, we got three episodes for some happiness, but I'm not holding out too much hope for that. Um... But yeah, the episode was really, really good. I can't wait to see the next one. Um, with that, the full-length reaction is going to be up on Patreon, as well as the next reaction, episode 8, which is going to be up for early access. Um, please uh, support us on Patreon. We would really, really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, welcome. I hope you stick around. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.